Hey guys, it's Angie. Happy Halloween. Hope you guys are having a great day. I have decided to do another Halloween tutorial for you guys. This one is super easy and it is of course Miss Peggy. I thought this would be a really easy and really inexpensive costume for people to use. I got these ears from the spirit store and it actually does come with a nose as well as a really cute little tail that you can somehow adhere to your outfit. Um, I didn't put the nose on because of the black thread and I'm sure there'd be a way for me to you know put it on my face somehow. Think of the tutorial I thought I would just put on the ears and this is probably a way that I would really go out for Halloween. The great thing about Miss Piggy is that she is a woman that can wear anything from an evening gown to a cocktail dress to ski pig or um wherever whatever. I mean I love 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 Miss Piggy. I think her style is a little adorable. bit about the look. I did use the Marc Jacobs the Tease palette. I used this color right here. When I thought of doing this look I thought I needed a purpley pink shadow and I thought oh this is a perfect reason for me to actually use this palette which I never do and I should. That being said you don't need to go and run out and to buy just this color. You can use a purpley pink blush you know or go find any type of cheap color that you can find at like of the drugstore, whatever, if you don't own a color like this. I'm sure Wet n Wild does a lot of them. And you can find a really find it really inexpensive. Hope you guys enjoy this look. If you have any questions on how I achieved it, please let me know. Please keep watching to see how I got this awesome Miss Piggy inspired look. Okay guys, first thing I did was go over my eyelid with this awesome color from MAC. It is a paint pot called Stormy Pink. I absolutely love this. It's great as a base to make any type of darker shadow um, really stand out. And I went in with this Urban Decay brush and of course in with that color from the Tease palette by Marc Jacobs. And I love this brush because it's dual ended and this is the only brush that I actually use for the tutorial other than a brush for the liner here in a bit. But for the shadow this is all I use and all I keep doing is patting on the color and then blending it out. You'll see me do this quite a few times just kept on taking that flat brush. It's kind of like a 242 I would imagine from MAC. Probably not as nice though. Um, and just kept on blending it out then with this other fl fluffy side of the brush. I really like blush, um, excuse me, brushes like this because they're so multifunctional and so easy. So thank you Urban Decay. So I'm just going to continue this process many many times and once I get the desired consistency and look that I want then I will of course move on and I'm going to go in with the Perversion Liner from Urban Decay. I'm trying to get rid of this. And just kind of sloppily put that on my upper uh, lash line. And then gonna gonna go in with this E65 brush by Sigma and kind of blend that out. Or make that look a little nicer. I'm gonna then take the excess from the brush and go on my lower lash line and line my entire lash line with that black. If you look at any pictures of Miss Piggy, her makeup is essentially always the same. Heavy, heavy, purpley pink eyeshadow and pretty much huge lashes and black liner. And then going to go in a tight line with this Estee Lauder uh, eyeliner. I really like this for tight lining. Upper and lower lash line. And then I'm just going to find a spot that I missed and blend that out a little bit more make sure everything is even. I'm then going in with this Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the color Light. I Once I took off the dome, I actually really like this product. The dome um, really freaked me out. It just felt really unsanitary. So I'm blending this out with my finger and then I'm going to be going in with an e.l.f. brush from Target. This was three bucks. Great brush for the cost. And I'm just going to blend that product out, making sure it looks seamless with my foundation which I of course already put on. I am then going to be going in um, with a highlighter on my um, brow bone. This is just by Wet n Wild. It's in Brulee. And then I'm going to go be going over that concealer just a little bit. And that's a Coastal Scents brush. It's really old. And then using this convertible color by Stila in Fuchsia. And this is a brush by It Cosmetics. It's a stippling brush. I really like this. I think um, Actually, I've been using it for foundation lately and have been loving it. Kind of overboard with the uh, blush, but it's Halloween, so I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Miss Biggie wouldn't care, I'm sure. Going with my nose a little bit. And then I'm going to be going in with Max Soft and Gentle Highlighter, and that is a tapered highlighting brush by Sigma. I'm going to go over any areas 
to bring them out a little bit more. I did not contour my face for this because, of course, Miss Piggy's face is pretty rounded, so I didn't contour at all. Then I'm going in with this NYX lip liner in Peekaboo. I'm going to be lining my lips, of course, and then the lip color that I'm using is also by NYX, and it is called Beige. It is one of their lip glosses. It is by far my most favorite lip gloss I've ever used from them. It's a gorgeous neutral pink color. I absolutely love it. Guys, I did not actually film myself putting my lashes on, but I am going to show you what lashes I used. I used a Katy Perry, Katy Perry pair that I found at uh, Ulta. And then, of course, I went in with the ears. And this is the final look. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. I really appreciate you watching my Miss Piggy-inspired tutorial. And I'll be back very soon with another video. Thanks, guys.